Welcome. Welcome back. If you are returning, uh, my name is Tina and today I am going to be starting to put together my 2025 Franken planner. Um, I have pieces <laughs> of pieces and I don't want these pieces to get ruined, uh, floating around the office, just waiting. There's a lot going on in here. Uh, so I thought I would start putting together my planner, some parts of it won't be able to go completely together until after the first because I am using those elements in my current planner. So first off, I have gold discs and I don't want to start off with a glare, but this is, um, these are covers made by me. These are from a scrapbook collection, uh, I want to say Academia is the name of this the scrapbook pack. Uh, my son got these this pack for me for my birthday earlier this year and I knew immediately what I wanted to do. So this is the front cover and the insides and then the back. So I'm gonna get started and we're going to get the discs on there. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we got that started. Um, I am going to hmm. Okay, I should be able to work my way. So I'm gonna set this aside because that goes towards the back, and I'm gonna be working from the front to the back. And then I have these two. I need to pull these off and relabel, but I also need to wait for the rest of them to come out of my current planner so that I can um, relabel and organize in the new year because things, some things are changing. Some things are staying, but some things are changing. Okay, so I did get, oops, I did get um, these side tabs as well. Oop, come on. And I got these off of Amazon. They're called, they're by Veroni Art. F-E-R-O-N-I Art. Um, I can put a link if in the description box, uh, but there are, how many are there? It said nine. So maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six. That's what I thought. It's really weird. Is this said nine discs collects. Oh, okay. Nine discs. Ha. Huh, that's why. Okay, cool. So I have these and I will be using these, um, in my planner. I'm going to set those aside too, just so that I can get things, um, in first and then I will Start dividing I think um, I'm actually you know what we're gonna do we're gonna pull the first one because it's gonna give it more stability when I get these in here um, I should actually just put all of them all of them for yeah so let me get these in here because I can always just flip them as I need them as I get to each section I'm gonna do two at a time maybe Because if you've ever started out a brand new planner, until you get some body in it, it just is not the easiest thing to get uh, stabilized. Maybe I can get these last three in together. So I've been working on changing things up to make it work for me. Um, I've had in the last quarter of the year, I've had some things not work as well as they were, and other things are working perfectly fine. Other things, some things have worked for me well for years. So um, I'm obviously keeping those. So I'm going to pull that. So I have the first one here, okay? Um, I'm going to, I will be putting um, just a decorative, 
piece of paper behind it because I don't necessarily want to open up the section and then have it right there. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how I want to order these. So I'm not enthused with the way I had, I, I wanted more. Okay. I saw you see six here instead of the four boxes I had for goals. And I'm not sure that I want goals anymore as, um, key points to hit for the month or for the quarter or for the year. So in using the inbox system, uh, the get things done inbox, I have found that the goals, I mean, I have goals, don't get me wrong, but I'm trying to make it work within my planner. And in order to do that, I think I'm gonna have to change a few methods up. So for right now, I'm going to put this behind. No, we'll put it. Okay. We'll put this in front and then we'll put the, and I'll flip through, um, at the end. Oop, come on. Can't even get those together. So I will get those, get that sorted out. Let's see. So obviously this one will probably be for the year. And then I did print a second one out for the first month. Um, and then I have my recurring tasks. This is in my shop. If you've never seen one, it's kind of a, when did I last? <clears throat> and if I can find it, if I have, if I can find last year's video of it, if I did one last year, setting it up in that, I will link it above in the cards. If not, I will probably do a video this year on this just so that you can see how I use this um, and how it's helped me. I've brought this over from my uh, bullet journal days. So um, I have been keeping a schedule since, oh, I don't know, 2010, something like that. So um, that one is in there. And this is in my yearly <clears throat> tab. Um, this is going to be my schedule tab. And <clears throat> excuse me. This is my schedule dashboard Oop. Uh, planner. This is a somewhat traditional dashboard planner. I will flip through and give you a better idea. Um, and then, where'd it go? Okay. There it is. It got, it got moved around. Did I? Oh. Hold on. Oh, okay. So those are just the, uh, those are just the basic pages. Um, so these need to go up in the annual. Uh, okay. So I think I'm going to put these, these will probably go up front. Cause this is my, um, this will have my future log and all of that in there. So for reference, okay, there we go. That makes more sense. So I was trying to figure out how that came about. So this is my monthly and daily planner for January. So have you guys been looking at your planners for the year or are you sticking with what you did? Did you go buy a happy planner? Um, I've done happy planner for several years, but there's just some things that I wanted to tweak and change up. So I did, um, <clears throat> I have my meal plan and my health tracking in there. This I will, I will go over it all. Um, I don't want to sit here and go through it twice. So I'm going to move this up to the front here because this will be for my monthly goal um, task, you know, aiming. Hold on, let me get. Hmm. Hot tea on a cold day. It is bone chilling out there, you guys. Okay. So that is my main schedule area. And then I have, um, for my, uh, work in that I will have a similar 
set up as to my um, daily schedule. Then we have reading and I will go through because I've changed some things up and it's going to be interesting and um, I think fun. But you'll see me not use um, a lot of like half pages or the um, happy planner dividers because I have a serious problem with um, using those. I just, I cannot, I don't like things not being flat. So hold on, let me see. One, what is that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, okay. So I wasn't going crazy. I have an extra one, so I will take that one out. I always keep a few note pages. And as I said, I have some other things. I might just leave this in. I'm going to leave this in for now. Um, and then I'm going to put my pocket folder because there's always, always things that I need. So let me flip this closed. Okay. So a little on the thin side right now but as i said there's a lot that um is going to fill it out over time so you'll see there's a good deal of um like i want to say hodgepodge this is what frank i'm planning hmm. okay sorry <clears throat> so you open it up and right now i have the side dividers I will link the top dividers and the side dividers in this video so that you can go and get them if you need off of Amazon. I do not make any money off of them, so don't worry about it. Um, this is my 2025 dashboard that I created. So you, I have my year to glance, and then I have my per, undated perpetual. Um, and I figured there's several things that I can do with this. And I'm still debating, but I did want to bring one of these in this year. But I have my future log that I have. And I I tried one year without this, one or two years, and I hated it. Um, I just, I did not like having, I had sticky notes. I lost appointments, I everything. So I will go over this with you um, if you're interested on filling it out um, to show you how I use it and how it works for me. Cause I refer to this anytime we're out at a doctor's appointment, anytime someone asks me if we can do something, I say, you know, well, let me go look at this and see if there's something else on that day. And if we can fit it in because it just, it's very nice to have it in the list form and you don't have to put it in date order. It just makes it very nice. Uh, and then I have notes page and then I have my goals and I have my inbox and to do's. I have several to do pages and then back here. Okay. So there's a project page and then my recurring tasks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then this is going to be my scheduling. So that's going to be first one's my yearly tab. Second one is my scheduling. So this is going to be uh, more narrowed down for my month goals. And then this is from my planner. Um, again, it's on Etsy. So it's very minimal, minimalistic. Um, cause I just wanted something very simple and I was getting really tired of having to try to find something that, um, didn't have the center colors or like splashes of colors and things. I just wanted it very minimal. So there's a monthly view and a weekly view. And then <clears throat> on the back of every month is a notes page. This is from My Life Plans on Etsy. And this is uh, one of her meal plan sheets. I plan by the month. And so I figure if I put the dinners here, 
and then figure out what groceries I need. I can keep a running grocery list and then I can go get the rest of it where I have everyone write it on the fridge. If you don't have a whiteboard on your fridge or a wet erase, dry erase board, go get one. Um, anytime someone takes the last of something out, they're supposed to write it on there. And I don't care as long as they can help themselves. I had, to, I've trained my kids and my husband since, um, I don't know. I think my oldest was maybe in eighth grade. So as, as soon as they could write, um, you know, and spell somewhat correctly, you know, about seven or so, <clears throat> I would have them write it on the whiteboard on the fridge. You want to keep it in a place that it's not going to get rubbed off because I learned that lesson one time. It was not fun. But when they use something up or when they take the last of something out, they write it on that list and then you know to add it to your grocery list. It saves you a ton. Um, this is my one page health tracking. And I don't know if I am ready to put this in my Etsy. I don't think I am. But uh, it is in the works and it will eventually probably make it in there. So this is my business tab and I will be using again the monthly view from my calendar and then this is the quadrant layout from squared uh, square plans y'all I'm gonna tell you the hmm, the printer issues I have had and this is why you see these are two different because it's just it's crazy um, I'm still learning the new printer so obviously things are going to be, and I just didn't want to keep printing just to get it just perfect. It's one week that looks like this. Um, so these are undated so I can run through date them and do my like daily lists kind of thing. And then I have um, a lot of to-do pages back here. And these I took out of this year's planner because I did not need all of these that were left. And these, again, these are from the get things done uh, listing that Squared Plans has. So, and then this is going to be my reading tab. And I thought, okay, the kids rolled are I have a little bit more time. I'm going to have a little bit of fun. This is um, a reading journal cover. And this, uh, some of this is from Little Birdie Canada. And again, I can put her link um, down below. Super cute tracker, super cute pages and stuff. This is the reading journal packet. I got it on sale and I'm sorry. I got it on sale and my daughter and I are both going to use elements out of it. So um, we'll get, we'll definitely get our use out of this but it's super cute forgive the one-sided printing but again I'm fighting with my printer and computer to talk to each other I cannot use my silhouette right now because it, I can't print anything from it um so it's it's fun I can't get talk, to talk to the programs I need anyway so there's the cover for my reading section and I might not I think I'm just going to use this as my reading cover. I'm not going to put something there. So <clears throat> I'm going to put, um, pick my book of the month. So it'll help me slow down a little bit and um, think about some of the books I've read. A lot of them are just what I would call fluff. They have no depth to them really. Some of them are really good. Um, some of them are obviously series, things like that. It's really hard to find a standalone um, that you can just get through um, with that's somewhat clean. I don't like the, you know, some of the ones that just, I don't know. There's, there's some that I'm like, I've read into like chapter six and I'm like, okay, I'm done. But anyway, so I'm going to put a book, um, pick a book of the month. And then for that month, I'm going to pick, put that here. And then I will pick a 
and and work my way down because I think that just seems like a really fun thing and figure out what book that I think is the best book I've read that year. So I've also done two pages of the 100 book challenge because it wouldn't print on backside. Um, it decided to print two of them at one time instead of one on each side. But I'm going to keep track this way every time I complete a book. And I will try to, maybe I'll get a screenshot if I don't. I, there's been years that I've read upwards of like 250, 300 books. But those were years that I sat in the swimming pool or in the car um, at cross country or track practice or whatever because the kids were running around and I was just waiting for practice to be done. So some years, I don't do that a lot, but I have on average can, you know, read 150 to 225-ish books. Um, this year has been a big trial. I think right now I'm at 95. <laughs> so I have obviously not read as much as I have wanted, but I also started taking classes this fall, which really pushed out some of my leisure reading. But I figured this would be fun to keep track of. And then I whipped this up because I could not find um, a, a basic book log that because I don't need the ratings and all the stuff. I just want the start date, finish date, the title, author, and how many pages. Just because that's what I like in my, my book log. So I printed double-sided. I think I've printed six, eight, eight pages. I think there's 25 or 26 lines on each page. But again, it was acting funny pulling two pages at a time. And so it, I just made it that way. Um, this will be more than likely like a, um, just for notes and stuff. So I will have notes and I just threw some pages in. I will probably print some more. And then this last tab I will use as like reference and um, things like keeping track of my daughter's 4-H meetings and um, if you're a 4-H mom, just anything that we might need to put on the white sheet at the end of fair. <laughs> so, and then I have my pocket because I've not ever been able to have a planner without a pocket. I don't know. I just I need it. So there's this back. It's the insides are the same. And then that I thought was a nice complimentary. Um, I like the blue. And that's why I couldn't find a green uh, one that I really liked. So <clears throat> I just did that. So there is the start of my 2025 Franken Planner. So if you um, drop down below, tell me what you're using, what inserts, what pages do you use most? Um, are you just starting out in that and just kind of feeling your way through? Uh, I urge you to not try to do what everybody else is doing. Don't go and do things just because somebody else put it in their planner. Really uh, take a evaluation time to figure out what you need in a planner and what layout you need and what is going to work for you because if it's not going to work for you it's just going to make more work for you so keep that in mind um let me know how you're getting ready for 2025 and i will see you on the next video thanks for watching